Hey, how's it going? I'm going to do a unboxing and quick review on the Google Nexus 7. I uh, just got it. Alright, uh, let's get started. Okay, here we go in the box. Slide that off. Get the top off. There's a little tab right here that helps you lift it out. It's all covered in plastic for protection. We'll come back to that. Um, it tells you how to turn it on. You got the warranty and safety sheet book. Looks like in a couple of different languages. And you have your charger and the USB charging cable. Without the charger, you can plug that into your computer and charge it as well. It's a lot slower that way though, but then you can actually copy files back and forth. And that's all that comes in it. So if you need a case for it, you'll have to get that separate. Okay, let's pull the plastic off. It's got a nice back to it, almost kind of a rubber coating maybe, um, so it's not so slippery. A nice feel to it. It's not very heavy either. It'll be your phone someday. <laughs> okay, here's the power button. Press and hold. Hopefully we've got a charge to it. Enough to turn it on anyway. There we go, turn it on. If you have any type of Android device, um, well, I shouldn't say any, has that same kind of boot up. Depending on the newer, like my S4 phone has a different. Okay, welcome English. We'll leave it English. Wireless. I took off my password just for simplicity's sake for this, so I didn't have to go through entering that. Okay, this system update needs to download an update, so let's... Oh, look at that, Android 4.3 system update. So it's powering off and going to update that. So we'll see how quick that goes as to whether we stay watching it. I did another review on a Nexus 10 and it had 4.2. It didn't get a system update to 4.3. And I even checked it, so we'll have to go back on that one. So now it's getting the update. Any Android device I have, that is the same. The little Android guy. All right, I'll be back when this is done so you don't have to stare at this. See you in a couple minutes. Okay, the system update is done and now it's rebooting again. Okay, from powered off to on, these are pretty quick, less than a minute. Okay, we're back to the welcome screen again. English. Wireless. Okay, got Google. Uh, in other words, do you have a Gmail account? If you do, you're going to say yes here and put in that information. Once you do that, sign in if you enter everything correctly. Google Services, this asks you a few things to you want to do. Uh, use your Google account to back up your apps, all that stuff. So I'm going to uncheck all that stuff right now. Location services, just to speed up getting into the 
system. You can always go back into your settings and set that up. Set up credit card, not now. That's when you buy apps that cost money. You'll need that. Backed up and restore. Okay. This is if you already have a tablet or an Android. Um, it will pull apps and stuff, photos, whatever you have. So I'm going to check those as well. Date and time. We're Eastern. Next. You can personalize it, give it a name. It already had what I put in there for my email set up complete. So you can see it's a really quick process. This goes through a quick little tutorial showing you that's where your application is. A lot of the Androids have the home, the back button, and then recent app uh, image here. That takes you into your applications. And it's going to show you how to go through and add an app to the desktop and stuff like that. But for anybody that's had one, you know how to do it. Just like the background, for the desktop, you press and hold. Brings up your gallery, live wallpapers, whatever you want to change it to. And if you want to take an app, you find it, you press and hold, and then you can place it wherever you want. Okay, uh, get that. You can go to settings. And that, that's where you're going to go to sound. And I always turn off all that extra sound stuff myself. But that it, each individual person is different. So now you don't hear all that clicking sound. <laughs> you can also drag down from up here and get to some of your settings. Turn on your wireless real quick, airplane mode, check your battery status, or click on actual settings and go to settings that way. Okay, I hope this has helped. This is the new Google Nexus 7, which as you can see, it, it's right out of the box. It did a quick update to 4.3, um, which has some, some nice features, which we, we'll go in that to another time. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.